Go. I haven't had a cup of coffee yet, so we're just gonna go straight in. Um, but I have a I have a challenge for Hag to Moria Survivor. Let your hand kill one survivor with the Hag. So I have an interesting build on here. Um, I have a Cypress Memento Mori, um, and I have Devout Hope, which I'm hoping they don't get rid of. Uh, I am running a full hex build, but it's not what you think. So I have third seal just so that you know survive. It makes it harder for the survivors. Devour Hope, which I'm hoping doesn't get taken out. No Ed as a backup plan because they're not gonna take out all everything. And Thrill the Hunt because that gives me a notification. And the reason why I'm not I don't have Ruin on is because. Well, to be quite honest, Ruin is just not. If I, if I run this build, um, if I run this build right here with these three perks, I had no way to. I have Ruin on originally. Said so no way. They're just gonna go out of their way to look for the totem, and that's gonna cause them to find the Devour Hope. Well, I don't want them to find the Devour Hope, um, and I want that no way as a backup plan. So that's sort of where I'm going for with this. Might switch around my add-ons. Might put that on. No lobby. I think about maybe putting on the Ivory Memento Mori instead to guarantee the kill, but I am running Devour Hope, and I do have no edge, so at the very least I could try and slug. Um, ah, there we go. There's, there's two. There's three. The Nia can be kind of toxic. I don't know about the Dwayne in the tap. I think the Dwayne in the tap should be pretty easy. Based on this. Already up. Because I'm ready to go. Oh. No cloth. Oh, and they had to fucking switch to Meg. God damn, and Kate. See, I just don't like Megs and Claudettes. Alright, so we've got a lobby now. Just gotta hope we don't fuck it up. I mean, I'm taking a risk here. Intentionally not running Ruin. I'm hoping that by not running Ruin, I'm going to... They're not going to go for the totems as much. Because there'll be three glowing totems at the beginning of the game. Now, one of them Thrill of the Hunt, and one Third Seal. So I don't mind necessarily losing those two. That's kind of my base for the Devour Hope. And I do have no ed if they decide. Because the thrill of the hunt lets me know how many totems in play. I'll know if my no ed is gone or not. But you, I, it shouldn't. It's a solo team. It's not like a five. My Mori. <laughs> we got some low level survivors in here probably shitting their pants. Like, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit, oh shit! One, two, ready! He got a Mori! Ah! I'm gonna die. I'm running a shitty Mori because I have two of them. And as much as I would like to just, like, guarantee a Mori, I have Devour Hope. I'm not gonna get the chance to use Devour Hope more than likely. I just need that exposed status effect. That's all I need. To be honest, that, that's the whole point of the build. Devour Hope. You know, if I had Haunted Ground unlocked, Haunted Ground would be perfect because I could run No Ed, Haunted Ground, Devour Hope, and just have, like, constant exposed effects. Devour Hope on Mike is just evil. It really is. It's fucking evil. Um, yeah.
Thompson House at the Cold Wind Farm. Had to do a little tie time. Completely ignore the top of that. Have the hatch in play. Every fucking time I run the power. I think I read third seal. Ah, 
I lunged through too early. That part is okay. They have two gens. Uh, they have two gens left, right? And yet, I'm still gonna have two hooks. Right, let's put a trap down real quick and bail out. I can't afford to kick the gens back to out of range of the our hope. That gen is still left. I'm not gonna get a fucking kill here. Both the gates are open. They all have no egg. Go. gonna make me fucking hook her instead of mooring her? Do I, you fucking idiot? Now I don't get to mori her. Really? 
Fuck you, Dwight. One kill. I'm not happy with that. That trophy somehow. Wow. Nah, it wasn't a good game at all. No fucking coffee in me first game of the day. What about build? Yeah, I mean, the point of the build was not having ruin so that they didn't go for the totems as much. But I just... The fucking cornfield, man. <laughs> fucking top. You know, if I had been one, if I had been Huntress, that would have been a much different game. Because I would have had the height advantage, but as Hag, it's not really as great. Uh, the thrill of the hunt didn't really help that much. Third seal didn't help that much. I probably should have taken those two off, but I wanted thrill of the hunt as protection for the Devourer Hope. Um, and for the third seal. I mean, it's one of those perks, sometimes it works, sometimes it doesn't, so... That whole game sucked. So we'll try it. We'll, we'll do another game then. We'll try another game. So we will leave those on. I'm going to mess that up this time and I will put Ruin on. Put the other one. I'm trying to decide if I want to run the Whispers or if I want to run maybe Insidious or Bitter Murmur. Um, I think I'll put Bitter Murmur on. I'm running out of Mori's here. You know what? I'll put the green one on. Say fuck it. Let's see if we can do it. Let's we go whole hog this game. What do we have for yellow? Increases the distance and increases the time. That was another problem I had. Oh shit! I put the wrong. We'll do that. Oh, the range. Hold on. I want the range. So we will go range and distance. Yeah, I like that. Alright, we're burning the green, Mori, so we better get this. Let me check something real quick. Okay. That's what I thought. Uh, coffee. My coffee ought to be ready. Put the coffee will help. Coffee always helps. Ah. Watched. Uh, I did. I did some MK11 stuff the other day. Not really. Uh, better than the previous than MK10. Um, I thought it was much well written. Ronda Rousey's performance as Sonya is not really great. Um. I mean, it's definitely doable. It's just, I am one of those people that gets picky about my voice actors, and she doesn't, she's not. I mean, she wasn't bad for somebody that's more of a celebrity voice actor, but, um, I, I will give you a bit of a spoiler warning. Basically, um, it ends up being this power rush between the two sides to try and get, get the most power. They're trying to basically get, like, enough strength to stop the other side. Um, couple of... Two of the OGs die. Two of the original MK characters die. Which I'm not happy with. And then... Uh, basically what it comes down to is... Raiden has to fuse... Himself with Liu Kang... To get enough strength to kill... Kronika. And Liu Kang and Katana become the new, like, Adam and Eve and shape the world how they want. Which, to me, is a bit sad. Because Koto Khan and Jade, that storyline, Katana, that Outworld storyline story carried for me. That was the best part. That, that whole Outworld storyline was fantastic. Um, a lot of characters I don't think were used enough. I think, uh... Sub-Zero and Scorpion kind of played backseat. Sub-Zero had a little bit of a part. Sc 
Scorpion had a little bit of a part up until his untimely demise. Spoiler alert for those that didn't know. Well, that, that's fucking great. I've got two Claudettes. Yeah. Yeah, this game is not going to be fun. This, this game is not going to be fun at all. There's two Claudettes and a Lori. I honestly, the one survivor I just hate, I don't know why they're the most toxic, is Claudette. I just can't stand Claudette. So we've got to, we've got to get him here. That, that's the key. We've got to... We've got to do it. I spend way too much time trapping at the beginning of the game. I generally give up one or two gens if I'm not running Ruin to try and get it, but the problem is when I run Ruin and I spend the time trying to get traps, my problem is more often than not um, I end up losing the Ruin before I even get the chance to trap it. So, I don't know. We'll see. We'll see. Hmm. I mean, MK11 is not bad. Gameplay-wise, the gameplay seems to be a lot faster place off online than it is offline. Which is something that, you know, that it, it's like that with a lot of games, but... This is something I've tried to do a lot. It just drop a trap immediately at the beginning of the game. Wherever you spawn in as Hag, I try and drop a trap. No, I watch my own. I knew she was fucking here. Trip innovation. She got trip Yes! I am a god. Thank you! And you are going in the basement. DC on me. DC on me, dumb cunt. DC on me. Fucking toxic flood ass. Put her on this hook. Not as why. Now I need to bail out. Oh my god. Oh my god! WHAT IS THIS TEAM?! Well, I'm just gonna hook her over here. What in the fuck is this urban evasion? I'm just gonna trap this. I'm not fucking around with you anymore. Jiggle! Jiggle tits, go! So there goes my devour hope. I'm getting this bitch. What in the fuck is the lunge range?
Go to your next pallet, use your fucking windows of opportunity. I'm going to fucking get you. No! Where did you go? I'm sorry, what? I don't know where the fucker went. What? What in the fuck? Okay. Hot! Where is she? I'm fucking done. I'm fucking done. My ruin is still in play. I'd like to do that lunge, but I can't hold it. No! Take the hit. No traps here. I have to take the opportunity to do what I can. I feel bad about mooring the thing that I do. Put a trap right here. I need to get back to trapping. Alright, I 
Any more pallets I need to bring? Oh, hi. Hi, Lori. And that's exactly what I thought. Did I break the pallet over here? I don't think I did. No, I didn't. We're gonna break. Ah! God, every fucking time. I hate bullets. I swear I do. She's just waiting to fucking hit me. Adrenaline, really. That's cute. You're going back in the basement, honey. I wonder why you're going back in the basement. Oh my fucking god! Fucking one ray! Wait, what? What? They're gonna get punished if they come out that door. My fucking right analog stick needs to stop doing this goddamn turn glitch. I know I'd get taken out. You know what? I got my Mori. I'm good. That's a blood points I can spend. I just hate. I was trying to avoid the Lori because I know how hard it can be to play as Lori. I just hate Claudette's. You have to understand my burning passion. It's always fucking Claudette's when I play Killer. It's always fucking Claudette's. Like, I swear to God. I get messaged by fucking Claudette. I don't think I've ever gotten messaged by a single survivor that was not a fucking Claudette. But, I don't really care. I'm kind of happy with how that all turned out because I got my fucking Mori done. I, I'm just rusty. I haven't played Killer in three months. Like, serious Killer. So... 
It's always the fucking Clodex. 